Uh, hello, this is Pat Jackson, uh, back again. Uh, today I'm going to show you my uh, first uh, my first attempt at a maze game in CPM. Uh, the reason I made a maze game in CPM is because, you know, there really just aren't that many good ones, or at least I don't think there are very many good ones. Uh, this is also a lead up to uh, hopefully making a roguelike for CPM. Um, let's boot up my computer. Let's use ZPM because it's nicer. Um, this uh, this game is written in C, specifically for the Aztec C compiler. Uh, I think you can use other C compilers, but I like I want to use the Aztec C compiler because it creates 8080 code, so it can run on many CPM machines. And also, I think the uh, the Aztec C compiler is one of the easier compilers to get set up. Um, so yeah, uh, this is formatted specifically for the uh, CPM 2.2 ROM WBW uh, using VT100 escape codes. So if you're using something like a Pi GFX card, uh, your mileage may vary. You may have to write your own version. This is written so you can use PuTTY, essentially. So um, here's a quick look at the uh, main source code. Uh, I have written this entirely on the uh, on the Z on the Z80 computer um, inside you know inside the terminal. Um, I have started writing my own Kaneo.h. Uh, this is my own implementation. Uh, I've been trying to look at uh, the real Kaneo.h functions and try to emulate the best I can. Uh, I'm not 100% sure it works correctly, but it does seem to work enough. Uh, I know there already exists a Kaneo.h in the Z88DK compiler, but, you know, what's what's the harm in trying to, you know, create my own? Let us, um, let's just run the maze game. Okay, so what this does is it uses the rant function, which isn't really a random function, but it says press enter, see? So what it's actually doing is it's looping through the rant function a bunch of times. Each time it runs, it increments. Basically increments its pseudorandom number. So that time between press showing press enter and you hitting enter, it essentially is a random amount of time. So that's your random number generator. And this is the game. Uh, as you can see, your little at character right here. Uh, colors, of course, are subject to change. Uh, my at items or something. But yeah, it's a very simple maze generator. In fact, this is a very well-known uh, algorithm. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description. I don't remember exactly where I got it. This is, I think it's called a perfect maze. What a perfect maze means is that there, I think what it means is there is only one route between, there's only one correct route between the start and the finish. Um, this seems like a very, very easy maze. Very easy one. Let's go down. If I could hide the cursor, I would, because I don't want to see it. It won. Let's try another maze. Hit enter. There we go. Let's try this maze. So the way this works is it's le it leverages the terminal. It doesn't leverage the um, the C it doesn't leverage your CPM machine as much as a ter as it leverages the terminal. I did this because I want this to be able to run in like pretty much any machine, even a really slow Altair. Um, I'll test it out on an Altair. I don't really know what will happen though. Um, if the, even the color will even work. But anyway, um, what happens is you print the maze once, and then you print on top of it. Uh, the, the at sign, which you then change, which you then print a space and then the at symbol to new, uh, to new appropriate position. Um, so yeah, basically you're just you're just changing where you are in the terminal instead of reprinting the entire maze every single every single key press. So I did that again to make it more efficient.
um, it, it just it just streamlines the process. Okay, and I think we won. Yep. So that's where I'm at the maze game right now. Um, nothing crazy yet. They don't have like multiple games, uh, multiple methods of generating mazes. I would love to have a recursive division maze. So um, that would be kind of cool. Um, yeah, you know, just just a bunch of things. Uh, this isn't really supposed to be a maze game anyway. It's just supposed to get in, go into the roguelike direction. So that'd be pretty awesome. So yeah, again, uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, see you next time.